Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video, we are going to learn how to find dispersive power of a prism as well determination of Cauchy's constants. The first part is determination of angle of prism and angle of minimum deviation of given light. The video link for the determination of angle of prism and angle of minimum deviation is given here. From these experiments, the angle of prism was found as 60 degree 17 minutes as well the angle of minimum deviation was found as 37 degree 4 minutes it is for sodium light now let's start calculation of dispersive power of a prism when your white light is passes through the prism it is splits up into seven colors this process is called dispersion the dispersive power of the material is represented with omega omega equal to mu b minus mu y divided by mu minus 1 where mu b is the refractive index of blue color and mu y is the refractive index of yellow color so this refractive index can be represented with the mu or in some cases it will be represented with n dispersive power of the material of a prism virtual lab link is here so i just click and go to the website now this is spectrometer determination of Cauchy's constants page. I just click here to get a full screen view. The next step, move the slider to get a clear image of this leaf pattern. So that is focusing of telescope. I just move the slider here. So now I got a clear pattern. Then click start, switch on light. We will get an image of slit here. Click here. So you can see the image of the slit, but it should be sharp. So I'm adjusting the slit width. So now I'm going to adjust the slit focus. Now the slit is sharp and bright. So again, move back the slider to the cross wire. So now the image will be at the cross wire. So I just did this by adjusting the fine angle adjustment. Now the slit is on the cross wire. The next step place the prism so once you place the prism so you can't see the direct ray or the image of the slit then i'm going to rotate the vernier table so the prism has two polished surfaces and this is the back surface and this back surface is the rough surface here the light from the collimeter will fall on the first face and the refracted ray will be caught by the telescope from the second face now I'm going to rotate the telescope to get the refracted ray. So you can see the spectrum here. Now I'm adjusting the telescope fine angle adjustment. Here I just coincide the cross wire at the green color. Then I'm going to adjust the vernier table fine angle adjustment. If you see here we have the slider. I'm going to move the slider towards right side. So if I move the slider right side the spectrum will begin to move right side at one point. Even with the right side slider movement the spectrum will stop then it will begin to move towards left side. So that is the minimum deviation. So you just watch here. So I am going to move the slider right side in the vernier table that is in the fine angle. I am moving the right side. I am going to move the slider right side. You please watch the spectrum. So it will also move right side. Yeah, it is moving right side. But I am continuing the slider movement right side. But at this point the spectrum uh, started to move towards um, left side so this is the minimum deviation so here we have to stop the vernier table adjustment then we have to fix the telescope at each color and note out the readings for each color from vernier 1 and vernier 2. first i'm going to fix the cross wire at the red color now i have fixed the cross wire at red color and i'm going to note down the reading on vernier 1 and vernier 2 for red color for red color the main scale reading so this is 75 74 73 so it just crossed 73 so zero of vernier coincides with 73 so i am noting down the red color the main scale reading is 73 then i am going to note down the coincidence so coincidence if you see here this line perfectly coincides so that is 4 so i am taking my coincidence as 4 
then I am going to note down the vernier 2 reading for red color here this is 255 254 this is 253 so main scale reading is 253 then the coincidence so it is 2 so the coincidence is 2 so then turn the telescope and fix the crosswire at yellow color now I have kept the crosswire at yellow color and I am going to note down the reading in vernier 1 and vernier 2 so this is uh, so here 75 74 73 72.5 72.5 then the coincidence is 14 so the coincidence is 14 here then in the um, vernier 2 again the coincidence is 255 54 53 52.5 then the coincidence is it's 23 then i will keep the crosswire at green color so now the crosswire is at green color and let me note down the reading and we have here 0 vernier 0 so it coincides with 72.5 still it coincides with 72.5 and let me note down the um, coincidence so the coincidence see here we have 1 so let me take the coincidence as 1 as well in vernier 2 the main scale reading is 252.5 252.5 and the coincidence is here it is we have 10 so let me note down the coincidence as 10 then i'm going to fix the crosswire at blue color now i have fixed the crosswire at blue color and i let me note down the main scale reading in vernier 1 so it is 72 so i note down the reading main scale reading it is 72 then the coincidence so the coincidence is here it is um, 10 so let me take the coincidence 10 so then in vernier 2 the main scale reading is 252 252 and the coincidence is we have 9 then our last line is a uh, violet color so that is the violet so let me note down the reading for violet so now see the main scale reading it is 71.5 and the coincidence is this line so we have 6 so the coincidence is 6 as well in vernier 2 it is we have 255 54 53 52 51.5 so main scale reading is 251.5 and the coincidence is here we have um, 14 so this line is 14 we are done with our minimum deviation part now remove the prism and bring back the telescope to the normal position and now you can see this directory and keep the image of the slit on the cross wire now the slit is at the cross wire note down the reading so this is the directory reading from vernier 1 and vernier 2 so in vernier 1 the main scale reading is um, this one is 115 14 13 12 so the main scale reading is 112 then the coincidence is so we have the coincidence here this line is 9 so the coincidence is 9 as well in vernier 2 we are going to note on the main scale reading so 295 94 93 92 so this one is 292 and the coincidence is here we have so the coincidence is 10 so we are done with our experimental part then we do the calculations here i entered the microscope reading of minimum deviation position for all colors and directory reading in the table so we have main scale reading and vernier scale reading so this is 73 degree 4 minutes for red color so let's combine these two to get the total reading so it will give you 73 degree 4 minutes as well in vernier 2 the main scale reading is 253 degree and the coincidence is 2 minutes so let's combine these two to get the total reading it is 253 degree 2 minutes so let me complete the total reading part for both vernier 1 and vernier 2 so the next step is find 
angle of minimum deviation so for this let me take this part as a and direct ray reading as b so we have total reading for part a that is in vernier 1 and direct ray reading find difference of this two that is 112 degree 9 minutes minus 73 degree 4 minutes so that will give the minimum deviation for red color as well in vernier 2 also we have the total reading 253 degree 2 minutes and for direct ray reading it is 292 degree 10 minutes so find a difference of this two so it will give you the again the angle of minimum deviation for red color find the average of that two so we have to find the average of this two so that will give the minimum deviation for each color so the next step is find refractive index of the materials to find the refractive index of the material we have to use this formula that is n equal to sin a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2 here where a is the angle of prism that is 60 degrees 17 minutes so this one i found from the previous experiment and d is the angle of minimum deviation for each color so we have the angle of minimum deviation and uh, substitute all the values in this formula and uh, calculate the refractive index for all the colors so now let's calculate the dispersive power of the prism so we know the colors and the refractive index of different colors to find the dispersive power of the prism we have to use this formula where omega equal to nv minus nr divided by n minus 1 nv is the refractive index for violet color nr is the refractive index for red color n is equal to nv plus nr by 2 so substitute nv and nr value from the table and uh, we figured out n is equal to 1.526 so this is the mean value now substitute the values in omega equation and the dispersive power is calculated as omega equal to 0 0.0305 and it is a constant it doesn't have any unit so the dispersive power omega equal to 0 0.0305 now let's see determination of Cauchy's constant this is based on normal dispersion according to Cauchy's theory of normal dispersion n equal to a plus b by lambda square first we just move this b by lambda square to the left side so it is n minus b by lambda square equal to a so that is here we have a equal to n b minus b by lambda b square so here we have written for blue color so the n is changed as n b and lambda is changed as lambda b therefore a equal to n b minus b by lambda b square and this b is equal to n b minus n g by 1 by lambda b square minus 1 by lambda g square here a and b are known as Cauchy's constants we can determine the Cauchy's constant from the graph also here we have the graph between n and 1 by lambda b square so in the y axis we have taken n and in the x axis we have to take 1 by lambda square and the graph between the n and 1 by lambda square will give you a straight line and the slope of this straight line is the b value and o e so that will give you the a so a and b are known as the Cauchy's constants here i have determined the Cauchy's constant using the formula i substituted all the refractive index value and wavelength value and i got b as 0 0.002083 micrometer square then I substituted the B value in the A equation and I calculated A is equal to 1.517. So the Cauchy's constants A and B are calculated. Here from the formula. Here I have calculated the Cauchy's constants from the graph. Here I have the colors and the corresponding wavelength. This is lambda and the next column is lambda square. Then I calculated 1 by lambda square and then last column is refractive index for each color. The next step we have to draw the graph between 1 by lambda square and n. So along the x axis I have taken 1 by lambda square and along the y axis I have taken n and draw the graph here. So I got a straight line and the slope of this straight line is here. So that is b equal to. 0.002091 micrometer square while using the formula i got 0 0.002083 and this height gives the a value that is 
A equal to 1.517. This is calculation of Cauchy's constant from the graph. I hope this video must be very helpful to you guys. If you guys want to watch the uh, video of determination of angle of prism, so the link is in the description box. Please check that video. Thanks for watching.